guys, it's me like videos 96. Gonna play some Infinity Blade on my iPad. And as you can see in my past video, I showed you how to get into the negative bloodlines, um, in which you get this guy right here with the dark mech gear. Um, and I figured I would just go ahead and use him on this playthrough through this bloodline. So, I hope you enjoy it. It'll be lots of fun because this guy is so powerful and there's so much money. So, of course, the first thing you want to do is look around for the money like I just found there and there's more over here. Make sure there's no health potions either, which look like this blue thing down here. Alright, let's fight this guy with the interesting helmet there. It's been a while since I played this. Let's see if I can get this down or not. Oh! Uh, got a stab in there. Those are always nice. Where the finishers in this game are just like awesome. Oh, born. Yeah, I think I've mastered all of these already. Alright, and then after, see this is what the health potion looks like right here. But I already have five, I'll use one. Take that. Okay, so then whenever I get items like that, I mean, I don't really need them because they're really crappy. So I'm just going to go to the store, find the Oathborn, and sell it. Alright. Now I'll go ahead and show you the... what the dark... how the dark mech gear is compared to the best like normal sword which would be like the infinity blade probably alright so there's the infinity blades plus 200 and my sword here's my sword it is plus 199 and also plus 301 dark magic which makes it pretty much better. And then the shield. This is my shield. Is plus 21 attack, plus 20 watt, plus 25 defense. And the shield I use normally. Well, let's just go with like the best shield on here, which would be. Let's say this one. Plus 20 attack, plus 70 defense. So yeah, you get a whole lot more defense. So, so I mean, you can sort of get a better shield, but this one just sort of goes along with everything pretty well. And everything in the dark mech gives you extra attack. Every single thing. So here is the helmet of the guide. The war guide, which is the guy that you fight in the end. It's a Helio Helm, plus 10 attack, plus 8 defense. Mine is plus 25 attack, and then life drop, so it's a whole lot better. Armor is, like, amazing. This is the guide armor, Helio armor. It's plus 34 health. Mine is plus 50 health and plus 50 attack. And XP gain. So it's pretty awesome. Ring... Um, this is probably like the best. It is has this is just all the different magic it has, 
And then the ring on the dark mech, it gives you plus 50 attack. And it gives you like 5 shield, but the plus 50 attack is like amazing. So there you go, uh, that's the armor compared. As you can see, it is very good. Gives you a huge advantage. Look for money. Don't see any. Move on. Make sure I get that chest over there after I beat this guy's ass. Anything? Nope. Alright. Oh, right, you can hit this little info button down here. And it tells you about the dude. Like, he's level 53. And he's a brute. Level 53 is pretty good, but I'm on him. They do match the enemies to about your level. I think I'm level like 51 or something. See man, each hit I have is just enormous damage. It's so awesome. He's got X's on his nipples. <laughs> Yeah, again, uh, the whole negative bloodlines, it gives you almost, like, limitless money. So you can just buy a bunch of stuff for the positive. It's not really limitless. It still takes a while to get a lot of money. But you get a whole lot more when you open chests and you find a lot more just hidden everywhere. Over here is a little, like, underground tunnel thing. Probably won't do it this time. It takes, like, a really long time. It's a bunch like huge monsters down there I may do it sometime later you know I want to point out the just the whole design of the castle here I think it's pretty cool looking you know just for an iPad game Infinity Blade does have pretty cool graphics and everything so just give that a quick look moving on in Money. All right, we'll go out here. There's a chest out here, I believe. It's guarded by a guy, but he's not too bad. Got a cool looking sword, but my soul better. See what we got here. Just more money. More money, more problems. All right, fat guy.
Yeah, this guy's got a freaking huge ass weapon, and it does a whole lot of damage, but he's really slow. It's not too bad. You just gotta make sure that you have to block it whenever he tries and hit you with his hand, his foot, or his head. You have to block, you can't dodge them. And make sure that if you ever have the chance of getting a stab, do it. Because it does, like, a whole lot of damage. Like, five times more damage than just a normal strike. And you'll know when it's a stab because it's usually when you've dodged and he's turning and his back's exposed and a little blue ring like this one in front of me will appear on his back or side. Check this chest. It's probably be more money, maybe an item, who knows. Yep, more money. Alright. Yeah, I'll move on here. Nice view of the castle again. Watch out for money. Oh, I couldn't get that one. Stuck behind the chain. There you go. Alright, uh, I'll do this guy real fast. Alright guys, well I think I'm going to go ahead and end this first video right here. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.